Hello family, greetings to you all and welcome back to my channel. It's your brother, Chief Lamashe Uyapal Siwulana, also known as Prince Ayoko, sending my peaceful and warmly greetings to you all. How are you doing and how is our families at your side doing? I hope and pray that you all having a wonderful weekend. Okay, family, I'm back again to share with you some more updates about Queen's guest house that is queen's guest palace located in tamale that is the capital city of northern ghana all right so in my last video i showed you this particular project i showed you this particular project when my masons were on top of the building so it has come along very very nice that is the small uh the one bedroom apartment that we building on top of the system so i'm gonna take you through for you to see how far my workers has reached there's a whole lot of progress here the guys are really working so hard so i'm gonna take you upstairs for you to see exactly what is going on and then i'll just share with you about you know the other updates that we have here thank you keep watching but please don't forget to subscribe, share, and give this video a thumbs up. So this particular place is going to be a mini apartment. It's just going to be a small one bedroom apartment, which will have a sitting place, a toilet, a bath, and a bedroom. So uh, Master Simon is here with his apprentice, Azoka. They are here very, very busily working to uh, put on the wooden frames for the concrete decking so um to those who has been following me on this building project journey uh, a lot of you can remember that i said in the right from the beginning when i was building the system i said that um the, okay so the plan was that i'm going to build a mini apartment on top of the sitting place at this particular beautiful uh guest house so the sitting place has been you know it has been completed and now we are working on completing the small one bedroom apartment so master simon is here putting on the wooden frames for the steel bender to come over and you know install the irons before we do the the decking that is the concrete decking so that's what Master Simon and his apprentice is busily doing. So Oga Simon. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
all right so this small space is going to be the sitting room area and uh this place this space will be the toilet and then uh here would be the the bathroom so this particular space that is left will be the bedroom so it will be something small but um still it will be enough for at least one person to live here and this small structure is gonna have six windows so previously the plan was five windows but you know as we continue to change plans and change plans we have come to a conclusion of five windows i saw the six windows so this will be window this will be window for the toilet and then this will be window this this is the window for the for the bathroom so they are putting on this wooden stance to to keep the concrete so that it will not collapse when they uh, cast the place i mean when they cast in place the concrete so right now they are forming the beams master simon and master azoka <laughs> master simon and master azoka is putting on the uh they are installing the stance so at the moment they are working on the beams these are the beams Mother Simon, yes. how many inches will be the beam? Ten inches. Ten inches. Uh, wow. So the beam will be ten inches square. That will be the thickness of the concrete to the beam. It's gonna be ten inches uh square. To those who knows what I'm talking about, they know. So the beam will look like this. The beam will look like this pillar. The beam will look exactly like this pillar so you see this side is 10 inches this side is 10 inches and you know both sides is 10 inches so that's what we are here busily doing So when they finish, I'm going to create some uh, metal designs to install it here so that it will be a fence on top here. As a matter of fact, my medicines use only two days to put on this structure. Just two days. They use only two days to build this structure. Hello. These men are very hard working. Meanwhile, my men are here very, very busily working. Elisha, what happened? You guys are busy. Salim. You are very busy. <laughs> so these are these are the stores that I have at the guest house. And um we are also working on uh, putting on the broken tiles that is the leftover tiles that we have 
after the project. You know, these are these were the tiles that we used to tile the bathrooms. That is the floors to the bathrooms. Yeah, so Master Mohammed and his apprentices is also here uh, installing the broken tiles to the floors that is uh, inside the wall, the fence wall to the guest house. So nothing goes waste here. These broken tiles that they are using here, I was able to keep it, that is to recycle it, to use it again, to install on the floors. So as you can all see, that is what they are doing. When they finish everything and clean it, it's going to be very, very nice. And this, this is the septic tank. So all of these places um, is going to be floored with the broken tiles. So we are going to use the broken tiles to make all the floors, uh, I mean to install on all the floors here. That's what we are doing. all right family that is all the information that i have to share with you today um we've made so much progress here we've made so much progress here um what is left for us to do inside the guest rooms is to just do some cleaning and then choose whatever paint we, we want to choose to paint the guest rooms so some there are some of them i'll paint them white and there are some of them i'll change different colors so i'm just thinking about the colors that i have to use for now but the the, the, the white is actually making it look so good so family thank you all for watching thank you all for your time and when you have any ideas with regards with regards to the painting or the colors of the painting just share that with me so we can all share our ideas and see how best we can work things out so thank you all for watching if you have any idea like i already said just leave it on the comment section and we'll see what we can do i wish you all the best and i wish you a very wonderful and a very productive weekend till we meet again it's your brother chief Sending my peace and love to you all, wherever you are. I love you all and I appreciate you. Enjoy the rest of your weekends. Peace.